So while the cantaloupes and the greenhouse on the deck are doing quite well, the area of the vegetable garden is actually once again a mess. All my building materials from the fencing project are scattered around. Because of how long it's taken, many of the weeds have grown back, and I don't have a gate yet, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a fence in the first place. This is also the reason why I haven't started to plant anything in here. I need a solution for what's going to prevent animals from digging under the gate, and after much deliberation, I decide to just collect stones that I dug up during the trenching project and fill them into, let's say, the threshold of the gate. Looks like the tractor will fit through the gate, which is exactly how it was designed. Please keep that in mind for later. In order to compact the rocks, I'm trying to get creative and with the wheels of the tractor on top of it, I'm trying to wiggle the front loader around. Not sure if that's really doing anything, but at least it makes me feel good. With that out of the way, I can drive the tractor inside and finally get started on tidying up.
I did some more grading with the tractor, of which I somehow lost the footage, but it helped getting rid of some of the weeds. So here's me cleaning up the remnants with the rake. This means I can now finally move on to building the gate. I'm taking measurements and realize that the gate is going to be not perfectly square to account for the fence which is sloping with the lay of the land. I have some lumber left over next to the plow truck that I'm using to construct the gate out of 4x4s. And there's a great reminder for why the fence is necessary. So it turns out, despite the fact that the tractor fits through the gate, the trailer actually does not. That's not 100% true. I did realize that the trailer is wider than the tractor and I was trying to be very careful, but clearly not careful enough. The overhang of the platform past the wheel well, caught one of the gate posts as I was driving through, busted off a board, knocked off some of my spreaders, uh, ripped out some staples from the wire fencing, and overall created a huge mess. So that's lovely. So 
So after I unload the dirt from the trailer into the grow bags, here is a one minute time lapse of me fixing the damage that I just caused. And finally, it's time to plant some vegetables out. I'm planting out a few summer squashes, tomatoes and cucumbers into the grow bags that have been sitting in their starter pots on the deck for way too long. I like to use an organic fertilizer and I try to bury the tomatoes quite deep below the soil level because they will actually sprout new roots from their stems. The bigger of a root ball, the bigger of a plant and the more fruit it can support. And with the first plantings done and the gate in place, I can start bringing over the raised vegetable beds from the other property. I hook up the trailer, drive it over to the other house, fill the trailer with dirt, load up the raised bed. When I get back to our house, uncouple the trailer, connect the trailer to the tractor, drag it, this time very carefully through the gate, and then start setting up. It really feels like things are finally starting to come together. As you can tell, some of the raised beds are actually in pretty rough shape because they're, I think, up to eight years old. So they do need some repairs and some parts aren't even salvageable.
the way, if you grow your own vegetables and you don't already, I highly recommend using mulch of some sort. I'm using seeding straw because that was the only thing I had readily available, but it makes a ton of difference with moisture retention, keeping the soil cool, and preventing also uh, fungi and diseases from being splashed up from the soil towards your plant as it rains. Once again, thanks for following along and see you guys next time.